Yo, what's good, y'all? How's it going? Good evening. Not gonna lie, it felt very uh, anxious for a good amount of the day. Um, mainly because there's just like, I feel like this always happens in the beginning of the year, and like it's one of the reasons why I also understand why people don't really set like New Year's resolution goals and stuff. Um, because like, it's just like, it feels like there's so much that you have to do or so much that you want to do and you just don't really know where to start. Um, and there, that's kind of like what I've been going through like the last few days of just like, there's just so much that I want to do and I have no idea where to start. But I started taking baby steps today. Um, like I worked out a little bit today, which is nice. Um, and I watched a movie as well, which is nice. Uh, but I did spend a good amount of the day watching One Piece. Like, I think I watched like 20 episodes of One Piece today because I'm on like 50 something. I'm almost done with the first story arc. Um, yeah. <laughs> but One Piece is really good. I really like One Piece. One Piece, um, you know, I didn't want to get started on this journey watching One Piece because there's like a thousand episodes. But here we are now, and I really enjoy it, and I want to catch up. Um, so, yeah, but I just need to control myself with it. Uh, so, yeah. And I set up, like, a COVID appointment for myself and stuff, so, yeah. Um, but, yeah, other than that, uh, I watched Soul, uh, the new Pixar movie, and it's a really good film. I really enjoyed it. Um, it is a very good like analysis and interpretation of just like daily life and what everyone kind of thinks at least in my opinion what everyone thinks like what am i doing what is my purpose you know or is there an importance to having a purpose right because i feel like society has very much instilled the idea that you have a purpose in life and it's your job to find out what that purpose is um, and in all honesty, like, uh, they did a good, the, the movie did a good job of, like, highlighting that ideal, but also showing you that it's important to live, you know? Um, it's important to live, because finding your purpose, some people can get so lost trying to find that purpose. I mean, like, there are a lot of times where, you know, I feel that way, you know, because it's like, I mean, growing up, it's like, I'm so, like... You know, I love my family, but, like, the way that, like, you know, at least, uh, you know, my parents kind of, like, have taught me to live is that, like, you need to find that thing that you are going to do, right? And if it's financially stable, like, that's the goal, you know? Um, but it's, all, it's always been about, like, finding that purpose or that thing, you know? Um... And sometimes, like, it gets very anxious, like, uh, gets me very anxious, gets me very, like, in my head about, like, you know, am I doing the right thing? Am I, like, taking steps in the right path, right? Um, and this is a thought that, like, you know, my mom has commented on my life. It's like, you always start things, um, but you never see them through, right? And that is, like, fairly true with a lot of things uh, in my life. Uh, especially when I was a kid, you know, because I, I, I did so many different types of activities and like a fair amount of them I wanted to learn how to do. Um, some of them like, you know, my parents put me in them, but like for the most part, it's like everything like I wanted to do. And, um, you know, it's, I don't know if it's like you got bored of it or you got scared, you know, you got scared of like stepping into this one path and then it being the wrong path, you know? Um, so, uh, and I'm slowly learning the importance of just like living and taking it day by day, taking it minute by minute, you know? And really just like doing the things that you want to do, you know? And taking the time for that. Obviously there are responsibilities that we need to take care of, 
right, because of the way that this world is structured. Um, but it's also important to just like take moments in your day to live, you know, and do the things that you want to do. And there's a lot of things I want to do. Um, and I just got, like, I don't have to spend my whole day devoting to those things. I just got to, like, do a little bit here and there, you know? So, um, and I think it was a really important movie for me to watch Soul. You know, Soul, Soul really opened my eyes and really helped me to, like, see through this fog that I'm kind of going through right now and just realize that, you know, I need to live. Um, because there have been moments also in my past where I was so, like, driven um, that I don't see anything else in my way and I get so like blind, like not blindsided, but I get so um, tunnel vision towards my goals and like it's not always good to be so tunnel vision towards your goals because you kind of forget what's around you. Not only like your surroundings but like you know the people around you like the simple joys in life, you know, I mean, like, I've been out here in LA for three years, but I haven't really experienced any of LA because I've been so focused on trying to figure out my purpose and what I'm trying to do. Um, but I will say along the way, I have made a lot of really good friends and connections and um, connections as in like connecting with people, you know, um, not as in like, you know, like business connections or whatever. Uh, just like connections with people um, and I think that's been like a nice thing about like when I did Uber in the past because so I've really felt like connections with several different people and there's so many stories from people that I've heard that I remember and um, you know have really inspired me in my life you know uh, so yeah uh, so Soul really taught me like to just appreciate all the little things in life and remember to live you know, you can love what you do, but also remember to live your life, you know, um, or you can be focused towards your goal, but remember to live your life and love your surroundings. So, um, and sometimes, you know, like there might be changes in your life. There might be changes, uh, in like what your goals are and everything like that. Um, and I've been slowly learning that as well. Um, cause I remember there was a moment where it's like, you know, I moved out here to act, but then I started like beginning to delve into writing and directing and then like, you know um, My mom had asked me something like so what do you want to do you want to act or you want to write or you want to direct, you know and Like the thing is like I want to do all of those things. I don't like just want to do one um, You know and It's okay to pursue all of those things uh, but I just need to make sure that I'm responsible about how I do it, you know? Um, responsible as in, like, am I taking the time to work towards those goals, like, every, every day? Um, so, and not gonna lie, I, you know, I haven't been doing my greatest. Um, like, yeah. So... I need to just like step up, step to the plate, and really uh, focus, uh, but, also, but also live. <laughs> it's confusing. Um, like, I have a really big problem with enjoying life, you know, um, because I feel like I need to go somewhere, right? I feel like I need to be doing something active. And I feel guilty about enjoying like the small things in life. And so because of like that type of like pressure I put on myself, I feel like I delve deeply into just enjoying like the, you know, the little things in life because it, it feels like so much pressure when I'm like working towards my, I don't know if that makes sense, but like, um, it's not good <laughs> the way that I'm like living my life. Uh, or it's not the greatest um, and I need to tell myself that it's okay to relax you know it's okay to relax you know and it's also okay to work it's okay to do both 
you know? Um, it's okay to do both. And that's really, really important. It's okay to work towards your goals and your dreams, but it's also okay to relax and take, like, you know, an hour off or something like that. Um, yeah. Ugh. Yeah. It's making me, you know, it's just making me realize that, like, a lot of these problems are just stuff I put out for myself, and I just need to get over it, and, like, just live, you know? Stop thinking so much about the future, you know, living too much in the future. Stop doing that, you know, because that's what gets you anxious. Just, like, live in the moment and take everything second by second. Like, this is something I loved about, like, seeing my brother's process when he was here, right? So he would have these, like, photo shoots. But he never really, like, knew what he was doing getting into them. Um, but he was always, like thinking in the moment, right? And going with what he felt in the moment. And that's like so beautiful because like, um, that's how I feel when I'm acting. Um, and that's how I feel when I'm writing as well. Uh, like when I'm acting and when I'm writing, like I feel that, you know? Um, when I'm directing, I don't really know for sure. Um, but like when I'm acting and I'm writing, like that's what I feel, you know? I'm just kind of going with the moment. I'm just kind of going with like, what I feel like doing, what I feel like my body should be doing, I feel like what I should be, like, just doing. Um, and like being in those moments is so beautiful. Uh, so I just need to like take those moments, right, and just let that leak into my real life, and let that leak into like my everyday life. I'm just like, being in the moment and doing what your body feels at this moment. Because there are a lot of times today where it's like my body wanted to do different things, but I kept telling myself no. Uh, so, yeah. Just gotta do it. So, sorry, that's a lot. Uh, but I highly recommend Soul. Um, really recommend y'all to watch it. It's really a movie. Um, yeah. You know, I'll put the IMDb in the description below, but uh, yeah, highly recommend it. Uh, so, thank you all for watching. I'm going to go ahead and call it a night. I'm just going to clean up, throw out the garbage, all that stuff. So, thank you all for watching. Love you all, and have a good night. Peace.